Hey everybody, we have now uh, produced six videos that are there for you on YouTube. I'd encourage you to uh, subscribe to our channel, to share those videos with as many people as you can. Of course, this is for uh, Victory Church and Moose Jaw for our team, but you can use these anywhere. I mean, this is works for anybody serving on any church team. And of course, what we say over and over again is that if you're part of our church, then you're on the team, okay? You don't need some official document. If you attend Victory Church, you're on Team Victory. You're helping us. We're working together as a team of people to accomplish the mission God has for us. That's the way the Bible describes the way the church should work. So here's what I want to do in this video. I just want to go over with you the first six, okay? We've talked about six things. They're all really, really important. And uh, I, I find that um, I could watch these videos and then a day later or whatever, forget this. And listen, if you're part of Team Victory and you're doing these six things, it's going to make such a difference when all of us are pulling together in the same direction. When there is alignment, uh, it's amazing what happens. So let's just uh, uh, zip through the, the, the top six things that we've learned so far. So the first one is you matter. Don't ever allow yourself to believe the lie that what you're doing isn't important or that you don't matter. You matter, you matter, you matter. The Bible says this over and over again and it's it really emphasizes that we ought not to compare ourselves or do all those things. If you're part of the team, man, you matter. It's, it's amazing how one snowflake uh, never really believes their significance in an avalanche. But you better believe that every snowflake added together has massive significance. So first thing out of those six is you matter. And that changes how you do everything you do. It changes how you approach the way you do what you do as part of Team Victory. So believe that. You matter. That's why you're watching these videos. You know that what you do really, really matters. Uh, the second thing that we talked about um, is setting the table for guests. That as a church, we set the table for guests. That means we have an outward focus. And it's really important because it gets real easy to start thinking of ourselves, thinking of our preferences, what we want. Listen, we don't go to church. We are the church, okay? Um, and because of that, uh, the church does not exist for us. We're the church and we exist for the world. So we have an outward focus in everything we do. We care for the 99, but our hearts, our, our focus, our passion, our emphasis is on the one that still needs to be reached for Christ that Jesus died for. So that's the second thing. The third thing is the source of all true ministry is your relationship, your personal, fresh, daily relationship with God. I was just reading a thing by William Booth. William Booth's the founder of the Salvation Army, and he talked about how to find people in your life that are going to be the right kind of people for you to be around. And he said, the first thing you look for, and let me just quote it to you, he said, is a present day personal relationship with Jesus. I love his description there. A present day personal relationship with Jesus. In other words, your own relationship with Jesus being current. Right? Keep it current. Um, in 1 Peter 4, where it talks about serving with your gifts, which is what a team does. Everybody on the team serves with their gifts. It says, let him do it in the strength that God provides. So how are you going to do something in the strength that God provides while well, you're going to keep yourself in close relationship with Jesus? So uh, you got those so far. You matter. We set the table for guests. Uh, the source of all true ministry is your own relationship with Jesus. The fourth one is come energized. Bring your best self to everything you do in every space. Be all there. Be all energized. Be, bring, bring your very best. What it says in Colossians 3.23, right? Whatever you do, do it with all your heart as though you're serving the Lord. Well, jeepers, if you're serving on Team Victory, you are serving the Lord. So do it with all your heart. Bring your best self. Then number five is Team Unity. It's such a big misunderstanding. People think unity, it means that we all get along perfectly, or unity means we all agree about everything, or unity means we all like each other. It actually doesn't mean any of that. Unity means we have the same purpose. And when you have the same purpose, you press together. You get over your differences. You get over the fact that you might not, you know, really like this or that about other people. It doesn't matter. Overlook one another's faults and press towards the vision together. That's what unity is. Man, we got to get this accomplished, so let's work together on it. Okay, that's team unity. And so in everything you do around our church, ask yourself, why are we doing this? What's the purpose? And, and as you dig deep into the purpose, here's what you'll find. At first, you have a purpose like, wow, we want to serve great coffee, you know, if you're on the coffee team, or we want to take real good care of babies if you're in the nursery, or we want to, you know, have fantastic classes. But then you go a level deeper. You ask why five times, right? This is the way you get to the ultimate purpose of anything. So, you know, just always ask, what's the purpose? And as you go deeper, what you'll find is it's about loving people and about loving God. 
Um, so that's the fifth one is team unity. And then the last one we've talked about so far is that people matter. It's always about the people. It's always about the individuals you're working with, the individuals you're working for. Jesus died for people, not for buildings, not for programs, not for, you know, having a good time. All those are, all those are important, but they're only important insofar as they serve and minister to and bless and help see lives get transformed because it's always about people. So remember that. Those are the six things you've learned so far. You matter. Set the table for guests. The source of all true ministry is your relationship with God. Come energized. Uh, team unity is based around purpose. Let's run together with the vision, the race that God has set before us, and people really, really matter. Now, hey, something cool you probably didn't know, in all six of those first videos, there's bonus material written. And if you click just below the video under show more on the text, I've written a whole bunch of, of material there, uh, three or four paragraphs under each one that take you about three minutes to read, and it actually uh, summarizes the material, but it actually goes deeper as well. So thanks again so much for taking the time to invest in your own leadership and in your own ministry here. You're a minister of the gospel. You're a minister of Jesus Christ. You're full of the Holy Spirit, and you are a part of Team Victory. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get a hold of these six things. Memorize them. Work your way through them. Try to live them around our church. Even review them once in a while. Help us bring them as part of our whole team. And uh, I've got six more videos that I am uh, have been producing and that we'll be releasing soon uh, to, to uh, again, just to keep our team trained. This, this current training is going to equal 12 videos, five minutes each, one hour long. And my dream is that every single person who serves in any way of our church would, would watch this 12 video orientation one hour of orientation training I think it'd be fantastic thanks you guys God bless you and we'll talk to you soon